Hello odd people. One of the viewers asked if I could make a video on the feasibility of battery swap adoption on a mass scale. And that is really crucial. As a retail investor, when you invest, you invest in the model. And uh, a newest moat and best selling feature is the battery swap. And uh, the key question is, is this scalable or not? I actually did rough calculation some time ago, more than two years ago, but it was more like a napkin calculation. And I was, uh, you know, satisfied uh, at the time because of the news limited uh, capabilities or deliveries. Uh, but now uh, with the, you know, with the partners and so on, it is, uh, you know, it would require um, a, a bit of or more deep in. So this is really, a uh, crucial question and i think it's important to use this video maybe as a reference in the future because i have some numbers that i will uh, share with you and um, and uh, let me know okay when you think when you invest in a model in a company and you you look for the scalability think of for example of of apple and uh, and google as an example apple uses for, for its uh, mobile phone uses uh, iOS and Google Android. Uh, but the iOS for Apple is exclusive to Apple, where the Android is uh, licensed to so many manufacturers, right? So, you, so it is much more scalable. Android is a lot more scalable. And that's why you see around the world, Android is being uh, adopted a lot more. And the same thing here with Neo. Neo uh, has this uh, partnerships that a lot of people don't understand. They would brag about it. If, you know, the negativity I see with these partnerships uh, would only tell me that these guys are actually short. They just, you know, uh, like to play it down. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We know. Um, so in any case, to answer this question, I think that uh, it's best to use a, a sample case such as the... Um, the US or China. I actually did a rough estimate for both. And uh, I'll share that with you. All right. So in the US, uh, and it's, it's important actually to use the US, even though new is not in the US or whatever, because 50% of the viewers on this channel are actually from the US. So, um, so anyways, uh, so let, let, let's go through the numbers. In the US, there are 280 million vehicles on the road. These are some, some generic numbers that we need to know. 280 million vehicles on the road. Uh, US sells uh, annually something like 15.5 million vehicles. I think it was last year, 15.5 million vehicles, right? And uh, the, the average range on an annual per year uh, is uh, 13.5 thousand, 13,500 miles. So you convert that to kilometers, it would give you 21,600 uh, kilometers. Okay? Uh, if we assume that NEO is in the US, they will, of course, use Gen 4. It doesn't make any sense to go to a, uh, an older version. Uh, for example, Gen 1 has only five uh, batteries right and uses older technology so of course you have to use the latest and greatest and that is because it's more efficient and so on uh gen 4 has a maximum capability of 480 uh swaps per day right and has a uh, 23 uh batteries right and each uh, battery can be swapped uh in less than three minutes so these, these are the generic numbers that you need to know as given, right? So, and uh, when you um, have a fully charged battery, uh, you basically have a range of 500 kilometers. So if we use that range, look, if we use that range, um, then we can say, okay, we'll divide 21,600 by 500 kilometers. Now, I actually convert that to kilometers, so we have these numbers uh, easy to deal with. Uh, then we have 43 
uh, 43 swaps. I have these numbers written here because there's going to be a lot of numbers to remember. And you may have to go back or, or whatever. And this, these are this actually good numbers to uh, keep in mind. You know, maybe you want to write them down. Um, so 43 swaps a year per vehicle, right? Uh, however, when you, uh, when you do the swap, uh, uh, you, you don't, you don't, uh, your, your battery is not at zero charge. There is still some charge. And also when you get your battery fully charged, it's not 100% fully charged. So if you want to account for that, I estimated roughly 15% loss. And so therefore the 43.2 swaps per year per, per vehicle, uh, you multiply that by 1.15 you know, you add the 15% and I would give you 49.7 swaps and we can round this to 50 swaps. So in other words, we need 50 swaps uh, on average per vehicle in the US. Okay. If we use, of course, Gen 4 stations. Um, so the the swap station like i said gen 4 swap station has a cap capacity of doing 480 swaps per day you multiply that by 365 that will give you 175,200 swaps and that is per year that gen 4 will do 175,000 swaps per year okay you divide that by 50 because 50 is the, the, the number of swaps required per vehicle, that would take you to 3,504 uh, vehicles. So in other words, um, actually, uh, uh, yeah, vehicles. So in, in other words, each swap station, each Gen 4 swap station in the US can do 3,504 um, uh, uh, vehicles at 100% efficiency. In other words, the swap station will be busy day and night, day and night, 24 seven. Okay, that, that's the maximum. If you are from January to December, if you actually have 24 seven, it will do, it will do 3,504 uh, uh, vehicles. Okay. And, um, so, like I, like I said in the beginning, in the U.S., uh, uh, the annual sales are 15, 000, 15 and a half million vehicles. If we assume that NEO uh, uh, sold all of them, and all of them want to adopt the battery swap, which is it's impossible, but let's assume that that's the case, then uh, we need 4,400 swap stations. You just divide the 15.5 million by 3,500 vehicles right or or uh, that can be served served by each station so you need 4400 stations that would take care of all the 15 and a half million vehicles so uh, another way to look at that is you can say well you know what on an on per million vehicles sold you need 285 stations 285 stations, uh, swap stations, required for every million vehicles sold, every EVs sold in the US. Okay, 285, remember this number, okay. In China, the, the annual uh, range uh, per vehicle on average is 11,600. You see the other one was 20 in the US, 21,600. In China, it's 11,600. It's a little bit more than half. And that is because probably they, you know, uh, people live closer to their work and closer to their shopping centers and so on. They don't drive as much. Okay. Uh, 11,600, you divide that by 500, it gives you 23.2 swaps per vehicle the whole year. And then you add the 15% to that. And uh, it will give you uh, 26.7. We'll round this to 27 swaps. So in the US, 50 swaps annually um, in the US. In China, 27 swaps annually. 
on average, right? If we say that all the partners in China want to use battery swap, which uh, they have roughly in the, one of the older videos, we estimated little over 9 million vehicles production. But of course, they are all gasoline vehicles and uh, hybrids and whatever. But we're just using this, these numbers for fun, right? As a, you know, the worst case scenario, right? 9 million. 9 million divided by, actually, no, no, I'll, I'll take this back. For Gen 4, we said that 175,000 swaps can do per year. If you, if you divide that by 27, that will give you 6,490 vehicles. So, so in the U.S., you had 3,500 vehicles can be done by one single uh, um, station. While in China, it could do 6,490, you see? And that is because of, of course, you know, all these variables. Uh, if you want to use the, uh, uh, the 9 million vehicles sold by all the partners, we're talking about Geely and Shangan and uh, JAC and Cherry and all these, you know, the good stuff, then you divide 9 million by 6,490, it comes to 1,386. That's it, 1,386. Uh, 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 swap stations would take care of all of them. But of course, that's 100% uh, efficient. 100% efficient. You know, you have these swap stations will be busy 24-7 all the time, nonstop, right? Or, in other words, you would need in China 155 stations per million vehicles sold. So, but then you ask the question, hey, how come NIO is building uh, uh, thousand stations. Last year they built thousand stations, and this year they're building another thousand stations. And that is because NIO is building the infrastructure way ahead of time. That's why you see all of these swap stations losing money because there's too many swap stations, uh, um, for too little, too few vehicles to service at these swap stations. Not because NIO is not doing well, actually, NIO is doing record deliveries but because neo is working ahead in the in the establishment of the infrastructure that's that's the reason for that right so um so if if we actually want to take it a step further and say well let's talk about the world this whole universe right <laughs> not excluding mars of course um then, then we can say, well, uh, the whole world, we sell, what, 75 million vehicles. You take 15 million away for the U.S., so 60 million in the world and 15 in the U.S., right? So you would need, and we assume the rest of the world is similar to China, not the U.S. The U.S. has this special case of uh, long distances and things. So that would be 9,300 vehicles in the rest of the world, while in the U.S., 4,400 vehicles. You add them up, 13,700, um, uh, no, I'm sorry, not vehicles, stations, stations. 9,300 stations in the world versus 4,400 stations in the U.S., and that would give you a, a total of 13,700 stations all over the world. If NEO takes care of every single vehicle sold in the world, that's what you need if you have 100% uh, efficiency in, in these Gen 4 stations. Okay. You could use this as a, just a, these are math numbers, and you could do any assumptions you want. For example, you can say, well, well, the swap stations are not efficient. I tell you, of course they're not efficient. As of today, they're, of course they're not efficient, but they will be a lot more efficient. That's why I had the other video on the Envo uh, have the secret uh, uh, power to it, and that is it would actually uh, feed into these swap stations. The more swaps you do, the more you become efficient, and the more you be closer to profitability. And that's why I was saying there is this race between swap stations, swap station installation, and uh, and vehicle deliveries. But vehicle deliveries will actually uh, beat swap station. It, you know, at, at, at some point, you would have this uh, break-even point, and believe me, once NEO becomes profitable in these swap stations, 
it is unbelievable. It will be unbelievable because, because of this massive infrastructure that was built and that is unmatched by anybody else. So that, that's how it looks to me. Is it feasible to have this? Of course. I mean, uh, you, you're not going to have all of this work done immediately. Of course not. But is it feasible? Yeah, you could see the, the, the fact that you only you, you need 155, like in China, 155 per million, right? So, so NEO is really working inefficiently, and I think it is intentional. They're doing that intentionally uh, because of the, the need to, uh, for the business. It's a business model requirement, okay? Uh, so uh, can I see that this will be adopted uh, worldwide? I think so. I think especially with the Firefly, Firefly is not going to be expensive. It will be easy to, uh, to use around, the, around most of the world. NEO will be mostly for vehicles $30,000 and up. So that's what I think. Okay. Um, anyways, think about it. And we may have to follow up with uh, another video as it's not possible to cover everything in, uh, in such a short time. But let me know what you think. Okay. Never financial advice. Thank you. Bye-bye.